Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Scorpio. Scorpio, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Rumble, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Scorpio, this is for you. We're going to see what's going on. This is for Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. Let's see. We have distance. No time, no space can stop my love for you. I will see you again. So physical distance, emotional distance. Um, but uh, the, the story is far from over. Let's see what's happening here. I'm going to pull a few cards for you, a few cards for them, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Scorpio, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate for every Scorpio out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. So this person is that you're dealing with is feeling kind of stuck. Um, they're walking away from difficult situations. And that could be anything, you know. And that could be a difficult person. That could be a difficult job. That could be um, whatever. Uh, but there's they're, they're going through something. And the, the timing is always like bad between the two of you. And um, I feel like you, you've been thinking about this, they've been thinking about this, pulling, like almost calling them to you and it's working, okay? Um, I feel like there's going to be a moment where you see each other and it's going to be very passionate between the two of you. Um, so like I said, the story is not over here. There's just physical and emotional distance here between you and this person at this time. They're going through some significant changes in their life and everyone is kind of holding back, all right? But you are very precious to them um, with this Four of Pentacles. You are very precious to them. So they're holding that pinnacle very close to them. Um, so never really truly letting go of you, kind almost um, feeling this emotional block between the two of you as well four of pentacles so what to do what to do um they're trying to uh, find their footing get their balance um they're on a little bit of a roller coaster ride in their own personal journey whatever it is that they're going through um and it's been you know it's it's been up and down between the two of you as well. So there's this separation between the two. Um, but it's not... Whatever's happening in their life right now, um, it's, it's almost divine timing. And the, the two of you are going to see each other physically. All right, and I feel like I said it's going to be very passionate. You're going to have to decide what you're going to do with that. 
you know, how do we, how, when we, when we are together, it's kind of like what now? Um, so two of pentacles here. It's going to be up to you at the end of the day with this Queen of Cups energy. Um, intuition, your heart needs to be involved in making this decision when you do see this person again. So they want to see you again. They, and I feel with this card, right? These cards and the outcome, you will see them again. But what does your heart want to do and what is your intuition telling you you could be dealing with another water sign so they've got some offerings okay um, I'm seeing this for a lot of you as a bit of an olive branch um, ace of Pentacles here they may just a little side note here they may be going through some significant um, money changes some job changes okay um but they they're coming to towards you um very sincerely very genuine um with this ace of pentacles here this right here they've been thinking about this they've been dreaming about this you know with the star card here and they're going to make it a reality that they are in your presence again so we got a lot of people manifesting uh, this this face-to-face um, -face situation. Um, communication, right? Maybe maybe you've been kind of chatting with them on the phone or or however, whatever. Um, but I feel like when you hear news of of this, what's going on with them? Um, you're going to make uh, a decision that at the end of the day, once you see this person again, the decision on how to move forward is going to lie with you. All right. So keep that in mind. Um, but I do feel like you're kind of calling them in and I feel like they're doing the same with that magician card there. So... You're going to be hearing from them. I feel like plans are going to be made and you're going to see them again, right? They're going through their own personal tower moment for whatever reason. I strongly feel by the looks of things with all these pinnacles over here, it's, it's more of a money thing, more of a job thing. Um, but it could be, you know, they're going through some sort of they're going through a lot of changes. They may be walking away from um, a, 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 re, a difficult relationship situation, but whatever it is, they're going through course correction and they're walking away from difficult energies, whatever that is. The whole time, it's like they've, they've, hold, they've held on to hope for you. It's just the timing is always so iffy between the two of you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. We got the star card, the five of swords, and the tower here. So the outcome here is, you know, they, they've always thought of you, right? The swords are our thoughts, but they're also breaking free of difficult situations. Always very curious about you but having to keep their hands to themselves because of this physical and, and emotional distance. You're going to hear from them. They're coming towards you very, in a very genuine way. And I do see you making physical contact with this person. And you know what I mean um, with that Ace of Wands there. After all is said and done, um, it's going to be up to you and what you want to do with this. What does your heart say? What does your intuition say? So love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. Um, this person, it's like you're, you're precious to them. There is care here. There is also lust here. A whole lot of passion between the two of you. 
but it's uh, I feel like maybe for some of you it was once a loss but there's more to this story so it's a little bit of everything and I just feel like after this physical contact I feel like you you're you're going to be following your heart here so I'm, I'm going to say that it's it's love but of course that's up to you to decide really all right Scorpio that's what's going on I hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you you can now follow me on Instagram Facebook Twitter TikTok Rumble I'll leave those links down below in the description box you guys have a beautiful day and a great week and I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care and God bless.